Turkish aviator Sabiha Goksum, 1913-2001, was the first woman in her country to earn a pilot's license and is believed to be the world's first female combat pilot. Goksum was the adopted daughter of Turkey's first president, the eminent reformer Mustafa Kemal Ataturk, and in the 1930s, she became the symbol of a recently modernized Turkey and the new horizons offered to its female citizens. Jetting solo over Turkey and the Balkans in small biplanes, wrote Pelin Turgut in the London Independent, she became the nation's own Amelia Earhart, a celebrity in hat and goggles. Goksan was born on 22 March 1913, in Bursa, a city in the northwest of Turkey, and official accounts say she was the daughter of Mustafa Izzet Bey and Harriya Hanım. Her life intersected with one of 20th century Europe's most important leaders in October of 1925, the year she turned 12. Mustafa Kemal Ataturk, 1881-1938, had emerged after World War I as the leader of a new nationalist movement in Turkey. The country had been the center of the Ottoman Empire since the year 1299 and unwisely allied with Imperial Germany during World War I. Both were defeated when the war ended in 1918, but the vestiges of Ottoman rule soon found themselves battling Ataturk-led forces in a war of independence. 700 years of Ottoman rule ended in 1922, and the Republic of Turkey was proclaimed the following year with Ataturk as its first president. Goksan's adoptive father launched a rapid modernization plan for Turkey over the next decade. He replaced the Islamic code of law with a secular one modeled on Switzerland's and sought to make the nation, which straddled Europe and Asia, a beacon of progress and equality. The ancient Arabic script used in Turkey for centuries was jettisoned in favor of a newly created modern Turkish alphabet, and literacy rates soared, thanks in part to the president's ardent commitment to language reform. Ataturk spent several years touring the remoter areas of the country, urging villagers to learn the new alphabet, and issued other decrees that reinforced his message that Turkey must move forward. He outlawed the fez, for example, urging Turkish men to abandon this symbol of Islamic identity and solidarity, and did the same with the traditional headscarves worn by women in Islamic societies. On what would prove his last speaking tour of the countryside, he told residents of Akaisar, in western Anatolia, on October 10, 1925, that the civilized world is far ahead of us, according to Andrew Mangos Ataturk. The biography of the founder of modern Turkey. We have no choice but to catch up. It is time to stop nonsense, such as should we or should we not wear hats. We shall adopt hats along with all other works of Western civilization. Uncivilized people are doomed to be trodden under the feet of civilized people. On that same official trip, Ataturk stopped in Bursa, and newspaper accounts of the day report that a 12-year-old female approached the president and requested assistance with continuing her education at a boarding school. With this bold move Goxen became one of several children adopted by Ataturk, including two other teenaged girls, Zara and Rukia, who preceded her in the household. The others included daughters of Fet, Fikriya, Ulku, Nebel, and a boy named Mustafa. Goxen arrived in Ankara, Turkey's second-largest city and its new capital under Ataturk, and began her education at the Kankara Primary School, which was attached to the presidential residence. She later went on to the Uskater Girls College in Istanbul, Turkey's largest city. She reportedly suffered from health problems, however, which curtailed her education. Goxen was known simply as Sabiha until Ataturk's surname act of June 21, 1934, went into effect. This required all citizens to take a family name, which had not been part of Turkish society prior to that time. Ataturk had originally been known as Ghazi Mustafa Kemal Pasha, with Pasha, like the Bey, attached to the name of Goxen's biological father, serving as an honorific title denoting, respectively, king and chieftain. Ataturk's newly adopted surname meant father of all Turks, and he named Sabiha Goksan, or of the sky. It was a prophetic moniker, for she had not yet settled on aviation as her career. That's, that same year, Ataturk granted Turkish women full political rights, making Turkey one of the first nations in the world to give women the right to vote. In his ongoing modernization plan, aviation ranked high among the national priorities, and in May of 1935 Ataturk presided over the official opening of the Turkusu Flight School. Goxen was with him that day, and she was reportedly delighted by the skydivers and parachutists who took part in an air show as part of the day's ceremonies. When Ataturk asked her if she would like to do that too, she reportedly replied she was ready to start training.